what the fuck. Happy Sunday. I thought I'd bring you along on my afternoon because I, one, need to go food shopping, two, need a video for next week, and three, I'm going to do a little bit of a reset and a catch up. Oh, I'm home from Asda and I just need to hit a car crash because some idiot did not stop on a roundabout. You know the whole concept of give way? Well, this guy was like going so slow, so slow, so slow, looked at me dead in the eyeballs, carried on going. And I'm like, I'm literally right in front of you. Stop your car. So I just stopped in the middle of the roundabout and went, what the fuck? So my road rage is in full force today. going to take you right back I mean it's not that long ago but I did jury service on I think I started on the 29th of July so I applied for a job that weekend I was starting jury service now I was thinking about applying for new jobs I not that I wasn't happy in my previous job it was just a lot you know like I'd be at work for 8 30 in the morning and I just think regardless of that that is a lot like waking up and getting to work and being functionably ready to sit down at a desk and work for night 8 30 in the morning is a lot and for people who do that for more than the time that I do I honestly like hats off to you because I I just couldn't do it. I just can't do it. I really can't do it. So yeah, long story short, I applied for it. Monday comes around and I get an email, literally as I'm in my induction for jury service, going, oh, I saw your CV, it's great. We did have interviews last week, but actually I really like the sound of your thing, so we'd like to have a chat. So I had a call with him um, and then basically got in, managed to get in for an interview uh, the following Monday and I basically was offered the job. I felt like I was offered the job there and then basically. Like the interview was like so relaxed. And you know when you just get such a good vibe. Like I had such a good vibe. But I really didn't want to get my hopes up. Like the phone call had such good vibes. The interview had such good vibes. I was just sat there. I was like please don't get your hopes up. Like please don't. Please don't. But I got the job. And I started last week. And one of the videos that I was going to film was the first few days of my um new job but clearly didn't work because my microphone was not working <sighs> so that's the story we're not talking about how long i have just spent in bed slightly embarrassing actually <laughs> but i had about 40 minute nap and i feel absolutely fantastic um but I am just sat down with my planner and I'm trying to make a habit where I sit down and plan my week on a Sunday. Um, so I basically don't have my online coach anymore. But the one thing that I've really valued massively since having my online coach is when I open my app every week my workouts are there and I can like mix them around and I basically sit on a Sunday and schedule them in so I am actually trying to use my planner a bit more I did buy a new planner for my new job but I want to start using it as a way to plan my workouts as well so I know every day like when I'm I know when I'm getting up I know um, what I'm going to be doing. Um, I basically am going to try and stick to Saturday, Sundays doing workouts, but obviously next weekend I'm in Edinburgh again, so it's going to be a bit difficult. So this week I'm probably going to have to do three workouts in the week and save one for while I'm in Edinburgh. Wait, 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 wait. What do you like about this girl? I mean, there's nothing. 
there's like a lot of things I'd probably start with I like the way she smiles She got me staring for a while Got me staring for a while Yeah, yeah Baby, it's our conversation She's my favorite notification She knows how to dress for special occasions She got me thinking life could be better These songs start to feel like love letters evening all do you know i actually felt more tired when i was at work but it's because i've had a stupid headache for the last two days but i'm hoping the fat bowl of pasta i'm about to have tonight with sausages is gonna sort me right out um i don't know what the dog is doing so if you can hear him dancing around like a twice in the background just just ignore him but i started a new book yesterday on the train serpent of the wings something like that it will be on the screen and when i tell you do you know what i'm really pleasantly surprised this is the first fantasy book that i've read since akatar where i've opened it and i've not been overwhelmed by a world now that is saying something when i read shadow and bone overwhelmed when i read six of crows overwhelmed to a point where i didn't even carry on the series um what else crescent city overwhelmed throne of glass slightly overwhelmed but the actual throne of glass book itself was absolutely fantastic like best book ever one of the best books so, I, um, Throne of Glass, as I've gotten on, has been a bit, like, whoa, overwhelming. But I will be starting that at some point soon. I'm ready to go to bed, quite frankly. Ready to go to bed. I've been chatting to you for six minutes, and I'm pretty sure my dinner was going to be ready five minutes ago. So, I'm going to shut up and get on with my night. So, yeah. <laughs> everybody it's now 8.04 what a week it's been I I'm just about to leave to catch the train sorry I am eating bear bear with me because the state of tide I am right now compared to the state of tide I was three weeks ago doing my other job I mean even last yeah even two weeks ago is ridiculous I did four days on my last week and I was so much worse tiredness wise than I am today and I'm commuting to work like it's mental I'd be starting work in 25 minutes and I'd have to actually be awake to do my work and it's just like I just don't feel like it's, it was very um It's just not a very productive time because I was saying this the other day I just think like by 3.30 I was basically done ready to go home where I was starting just that little bit later and being much more relaxed actually benefits people I must admit though this is the first day I've actually had time to sit and eat my breakfast I had to take it on the train with me every day um, but the best thing about this job, even though I have just got a wonky coffee subscription because the volume of coffee pods I used to go through was stupid, I might have to cancel that now. Um, I literally got 100 coffee pods delivered to my front door yesterday. And when I say the box is huge, the box is absolutely fucking giant. Um, it's going to last me probably about a year. I'm not joking. But... 
they actually have like coffee facilities that's not just a kettle which is fantastic i have not spent one pound on coffee this week not one singular pound